Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do a video on different nail bits and just trying to inform you guys on different ways that you can use certain types of bits. Um, I am not a professional. I've just been experimenting with different nail bits throughout these couple of months since I started doing and focusing more on nail. And I just wanted to share with you guys all of the trial and errors that I've done and just basically show you the ones that I use on my everyday, every nail appointment basis. So the first one would be the mandrel bit, which would be this one, which is the one that you would be using to put on a sanding band. So these are what sanding bands are. I currently use two types. I'm trying to run out of the other ones that I have. It was just like the brown ones that you can find literally anywhere. These are a newer pack of Panda ones that I haven't began to use yet because I do want to get rid of the other ones, like I said. But this is a sanding band, and this is what you would use to put on the mandrel bit, which looks like this. And this is the one, the first one that I end up using after, um, usually I'll do cuticle pushers and then I'll do my cuticle scissors and just cut out all the cuticles um, if they have an excess amount of it. But um, if they don't have that bad of cuticles or none at all, because some people do have that, I would just go in with the mandrel bit and I'll just begin to sand off gently the, just the oils off of the nail bed so that the, um, nail glue can and the acrylic can adhere so this is the first one that i use and it is called the mandrel this is i feel like the number one that you'll be needing um but if you do get a drill most times you come with something that looks like this it's just a less quality of um bits and this one is the one that came with my with my drill and I have the Melody Susie drill in the Scarlet style. Um, and these are the ones that came with my drill along with the mandrel, which is this one. And then what actually came inside, hold on, let me put this away. What actually came inside of the drill itself was this one, which is I keep it, um, it's not really that needed because for the most part, if I don't have this one in, which is usually never, I'll have my mandrel on at all times. But basically this is just a stopper. It's just recommended for you to keep something in your drill at all times and not have it be like this, loose and open because um, if dust does get inside of the, the hand piece, it can mess with the mechanical uses of the drill and end up breaking on you so i do keep this one just to have around but for the most part my mandrel is on at all times just like that and it's just ready to use for the next client so yeah um i will get into these a little bit later in the video once i explain to you what the bits i use are on my everyday basis are so after me after i sand off the oils off the natural nail bed again you guys have to be really really gentle when you're using the mandrel and the sanding band because the sanding band can create heat and then burn the net the client i've done it on myself before when i was experimenting with different speeds i usually just do it on like the lowest speed one and then after this one once i've applied the acrylic and everything and sometimes i'll use um either the cuticle pusher and cuticle scissors to get rid of the cuticles but sometimes people do have drier cuticles and you can actually use cuticle bits with them and they'll just flake off the cuticle and make the job a lot easier and quicker um, these i got in a full pack on amazon um, maybe like three or four of these weren't in that pack but um, the pack is kind of big it actually came in a container like this i just replaced it and these are all the different types of bits that you will encounter they all have different uses and again to me it's all personal um i know some people will say like each bit has its specific use and i it's it it does for the most part but like for example these are all cuticle bits but for the different ways that you can use them it depends on the person so for example this bigger bigger um sphere bit right here i don't use that often um, but i have seen people use it i prefer the smaller spheres if i am going to use it um, but for the most part i actually like using this 
more cylinder shape one right here so if i do have a client that has drier um, cuticles that i feel like will flake off easy i will use this one because it has the flat top and when you're going against the nail like this i feel like it's pushing the cuticles back at the same time and then removing any dry cuticle that's in the area like this so I really do like this and I would recommend that for that. But again, everyone has a specific uses. Um, I see a lot of people use this one right here for like if you have any hangnails or anything, you can flake it off with this one gently. Um, again, I don't use that because I feel like most of my clients don't have drier cuticles. Very soft and delicate. You can tend to burn them if you use cuticle bits. So it just depends on your clients. Um, and it's honestly all just trial and error sharper ones here for example I've seen people go in do these sides right here and just flake off all of the dead skin on the sides of the nails um, and yeah like I mean these all basically just do the same go into the crevices of the cuticle um, these sphere ones are pretty well if they have dry skin because it also pushes back the cuticle and makes like a rounder kind of flattened look to it um, to the cuticle and it just makes the whole cuticle look a lot neater so those is basically that's all I have to say for um, cuticle bits cuticle bits you will never see something that looks like this this you can never use on a natural nail bed um, they are dirty I need to clean them I was using them earlier today the grits of these just depend if you can see all of these colored um, tapes right here a couple months back I didn't really know what the significant of the colors were but it actually means the type of coarseness of the bit so red blue there's gonna be pink yellow there's gonna be a variety of colors um, and I'll insert a picture here of the different levels of coarseness matching with the different colors so if you guys do have bits that have these strips you'll be able to know which coarseness it is these you can tell they have like the diamond um, grit on them which is like really fine just grit I guess and um, it just allows you to get to that skin um, really closely but without burning them or cutting them um, so yeah after if I don't use cuticle pusher and cuticle scissors I will go in with my cuticle bits and then I'll go on with applying the nail tip the acrylic and all of that once the acrylic is filed down and shaped how I want it to be, I always go in with this bit here. This is the um, safety barrel bit and I have it in carbide. This is a Pana brand one. These are carbide bits. Carbide bits are basically like the metal ones and this one I have it, I think it's in a, in a fine. Some bits will tell you, like I don't have a letter on top of it like this one that says F on it, which means fine. Some of them don't. If they don't have a colored strip, usually they'll have the coarseness of the bit on the top or it'll have it in its casing. This one is the casing that it came with. It doesn't have any markings, but again, it is on the bit on this one and some casings will come with them colored. So yeah, I love using the safety barrel bits for shaping around the cuticle area. So say I have like acrylic on and my nail on, I love going with this bit and really flattening out that cuticle area when you have the acrylic on. It took me a really, really long time to realize this is the bit I was needing this whole time. I went through many. I went through this one as well, which is a really mini, um, it's just a mini extra fine carbide cone which I had gotten to get close to that cuticle area when you have the acrylic on and really flatten that area down instead of having like a lot of bulkiness around the cuticle I went in with this one I this one I actually really do like as well but since it is extra fine um, acrylic can tend to get stuck into its groove I would not suggest extra fine if you're gonna be removing a lot of um, acrylic because it does get stuck into the groove since it is so fine so I don't use this one much anymore because it just gets stuck too much, but um, it does come in handy um, when also removing a little bit acrylic around here and the areas like if you bulked it up too much. So this one I really like as well. But for the most part, honestly, this is like the only bit that I use when I'm removing acrylic. 
um, and just, like really fining down the area. This is the only bit, and then I just apply the polish at this point. But sometimes it does take, you know, multiple bits to get down, especially when you're beginning. You're gonna have a lot of bulky acrylic, and you're gonna maybe have to begin with this is a fine bit, but maybe you're gonna have to start with the medium so that it can remove more bulk, and then you're gonna have to go in with like a, a buffer or a fine bit to smoothen out the acrylic and not have grooves in them. So yeah, I like using that one to just really finish off the acrylic before painting them. And that's basically all I use. I only use my um, mandrel bit for the sanding band and then I only use this one to shape the acrylic afterwards and that's it. That's all I use. Um, I have seen a lot of nail techs go in with this one which is a tapered barrel. And the difference between a tapered barrel and a safety barrel bit, the safety barrel has this rounded top, which is going to prevent you from cutting the client. If you get close to that cuticle, this rounded area is going to be laying on here and you can go as much as like this as you want and it won't cut or do anything. This one is a, is a barrel bit, but as you can tell, the edges are a lot sharper and you can really cut a client if you're not careful you really need to learn how to minimize the area in the nail workspace um, i tried using this on myself one time and i cut myself and i just am too afraid to use it honestly hopefully i get to the point where i feel safe after using this one enough to transfer to this one because most clients that i most nail techs that are advanced and um just do you know great work they'll use these in their videos and I'm like, girl, I am too afraid still, which is fine. You know, sometimes you have to work up to different things and techniques. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I use in like my everyday basis thing. And now I'm just gonna go into specific types of um, bits and what I would use them for and then just the, the, the material of it and everything. So like I was saying earlier, these are what you're probably going to start off with in the beginning, um, especially when you're beginning, beginning. Once you learn, you probably just toss these out, to be honest, or I don't use these at all ever. But when I first started and I had no idea, I would use these just to like smoothen out acrylic or um, honestly, I don't I don't even remember. But um, these I feel like I wouldn't recommend to many people because if you can see um, these are like diamond grit I guess I don't know what you would call it but they are diamond bits and these aren't as high quality as they, like these cuticle ones are and you can really tell the quality of them by just looking at like the, the shine the sparkle in them like I'm just gonna compare I'm just gonna compare these two because you'll be able to tell the difference this is a diamond bit but it isn't the highest quality meaning it's going to get really dull really quickly so you're only going to get a couple of uses out of these whereas with this one you can tell you know the sparkle in it is a higher quality diamond that they use for it so it's going to last you a lot longer it will dull out dull out eventually but it'll last you a lot longer than what these would so that is just what the difference between those are so i wouldn't really recommend these but just to start off um definitely get the hang of just using the bit the drill with these because these is going to be very unlikely that you cut yourself with or cut someone else with um, you might create um, burning if you do use it on a high speed so just be careful but that's all they would say about these there's those and then there's the diamond bit that i was talking about so the higher quality diamond bits which are all of these here which will last you a lot longer but won't remove bulk on the nail and then there are your ceramic bits which is what i started off with after using these i switched off and bought um i think it was like a pack i think it came in like this container and it just came with seven of them and it was just these here and these are ceramic ceramic the difference between ceramic and carbide um to me is just the material honestly and um ceramic to me i feel like you can use without having the bit um get really hot really quickly um because it is ceramic and um these do the job too i love using ceramic i love using the carbide the only reason why i started jumping to carbide one was because i feel like since they're ceramic i feel like they do dull, dull out 
a little bit faster than what a ceramic one would which is fine because I mean they're all going to dole out eventually especially depending on how much you use them but ceramic I feel like does tend to do more more doling and I realized that because I really like because I really like the specific bit here it's like the cone shaped bit um, and I love using this one to remove like the gel for fills this is the one that I use at all times and I did I do have another one of these but it started doling out and I just am left with this one but I did um, purchase a ceramic version because again I love this bit to remove the gel and my ceramic ones tend to dole out really quickly because removing product does take you know force and it that's why it makes sense that it'll dole out so I figured I would just invest in the ceramic one and have it last me a little bit longer. This is definitely my go-to for removing gel on fills. So that's all I have to say for ceramic. And as of the shapes, I mean, this is the safety barrel, which I love using these when I'm not using my ceramic one. Um, they're just my go-to for smoothing out and really um, sharpening up the acrylic on like when I'm final prep uh, before polish. And then there are these, which is basically the tapered barrel that I showed you, but it's not tapered, it's just a regular barrel. Ceramic, I feel like, isn't as sharp as a, as carbide either, so although you can still cut someone with a ceramic, I feel like it'll be less likely to. But again, still be careful. Um, I still like using this one to get into those like really um, close to the cuticle areas to really smoothen out that area. I use these again things just come with preference the shapes and all of that you're gonna have to experiment with them because again everyone isn't the same for example these these here I've seen some techs use for cuticle removing and I've seen it work amazing with some people but for me I personally just don't like it um, I like this bit to go like underneath the nail and clean up any like mess ups but for cuticle i don't really ever use it it just doesn't work out for me but i have seen a lot of people use them for cuticle this one here i'm on i've honestly never really used but again you can use it for here the cuticle here flattening out any acrylic i just don't reach out i just don't reach for it often just because i just don't to be honest and then just with carbide it's basically just metal carbide bits and it's gonna be a lot sharper they're going to get the tendency to heat up a lot quicker too just because of the material that they're made out of and these won't dole out as quickly as ceramic these are the only carbide ones that I own is my safety barrel the most and then this one's also a safety barrel but it is a really 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 intense coarse one let me try to focus it for you It is a really intense coarse one and um, this does I think it's honestly 3x it's double double coarse XX coarse so this is gonna be very very sharp and would never use it on a natural nail I usually use this one if I need to remove a bunch of like bulk or like acrylic because that's basically the only thing that you could use it for and then I talked about my tapered barrel and my cone and then this one is the other carbide one that i have which i really really like it's a small mini um tapered safety bit so this one is another one that i bought just because when i really was working on flattening out that acrylic on my cuticle area because I, I used to make it really bulky which is a huge reasoning for lifting guys um if you want a video on lifting and how to prevent lifting let me know but yeah these were two of the ones that i experimented with when I was trying to work on that cuticle bulk and they both work great but I just really liked how the barrel ended up working with me the best but again it might be different for you and these two I actually had never seen anyone use before the mini cone in this one I hadn't really seen anyone use before um, this one does work great for really cleaning up that cuticle area around the nail and just making sure it's like super smooth and you know um, just have that incline to the apex but since it is super fine it's this extra fine bit um, the cute the acrylic does get really jammed into those crevices as well which is one of the reasons why I stopped using them because the car the um, acrylic does get stuck in them but 
Um, other than that, I really love them. I really like the uses for them. And yeah, those are basically all of the bits that I own and the ones that I use currently. Um, I really hope this really helped you guys out. If you guys have any more questions regarding them, it's kind of hard to explain bits because honestly, all have just their different um, uses for them. And it's just all personal, honestly. Not one specific bit is gonna work for everyone. Experiment with your guys' bits and see what works best for you. If you needed top three bits, I would definitely get a mandrel. That is like a necessity. Get a safety barrel bit because they can just work out really well. Um, start off with the ceramic one. It'll just be easier in the long run. Maybe one of the cuticle bits. I really recommend this one, but again, I never see anyone talk about this specific one, so it might just be a me thing, but I re would recommend this one if you guys are looking for it. But if you guys go to Amazon, you guys will be able to find a lot of sets that come with a good variety of them instead of you buying each and each individual drill bit. Hope you guys enjoyed and I really hope it helped you out. Um, if you guys have any more questions regarding anything in specific or any type of bit in specific, let me know when I can purchase it and test it out for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the videos and for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Till next time.